So I'm at a uh, new spot, and that, a hill that I got shown by a uh, very uh, nice friendly subscriber. Uh, you can find uh, fossils here. So these are the uh, mix of brachiopods that have been found here so far. If I find anything super cool, I'll definitely show you guys. But yeah, this is the type of stuff you can find at this uh, hill. It's a uh, it's uh, close near, um, it's more south towards like the London area. So, similar stuff kind of to like Hungry Hollow, so the other place that I've collected. So, if I uh, find anything really cool, I'll definitely show you guys. You can see right here, this one's actually nice and washed out. A lot of them are like half buried. But this one looks quite whole. And it was just sitting right there on the top. Nice little brachiopod. But yeah, I'll I'll show you guys anything else interesting if I do find it. So this is what you're looking for, guys. On a hill like this, you kind of just got to sit down and look very closely. And as you can see, I got another one right here. And actually, once I take this guy out. He's just missing a little bit of the wing. As you can see. And I'm hoping this guy's intact because you can see right here. You can see that big guy. Hopefully that guy's intact because that looks like a, uh, a quite a big, uh, almost just a bit of the wing missing. That's probably one of the bigger uh, brachiopods I found here so far. Very nice. I'll get back to you if I see anything else. Just as we were about to leave, that one was spotted. Look at that. Holy cow, that is a pretty little brachiopod. Nice size, too. Let's get a nice really enjoy this kind of stuff. It's just so beautiful. Awesome little find. I'll get back to you guys if we uh, find anything else. So, got, we went to, a, there's a second hill that, that we're at now. Look at what what's right here. I think it's just a bit of a clamshell or maybe it's a brachiopart, but it's very nice a decent size and it's nicely preserved it's not too tumbled now apparently on this hill if you're lucky you can find a trilobite once in a while so you know crossing my fingers but I know how hard they are to find so you never know though if I uh, find anything else to show you guys I'll definitely show it so I thought I'd do a uh, just a bit of a quick cleanup video to show you some some of the better stuff that he, he uh, we found on the uh, on the trip. Um, this stuff was found on two hills. The fossils were found on the two clay hills that I was shown by a very kind subscriber. And the rocks themselves, I believe, were out of the creeks that we checked out. There were some creeks below the hills. And so the creeks had a lot of interesting rocks in them, and these are some of the most interesting. So I'll start with the fossils. I'll definitely um, I'll put their I'll put their uh, names up. I'll do some research and put their names up, so you'll you'll get that. They're very this one. This one we I I recorded on video finding or t picking up. It's a very nice one. It's very detailed, very little damage. It's almost always just the tips the, of the brachiopods that are damaged. But we found a couple. Sorry, I hit the camera stand. Forgive the wobble. These are just some of the nicer ones. That are more intact 
And there's different types of species, as you can tell. This guy's a small squat one that yeah, it has got this long and this ridge that long runs along the center part of it. Very interesting. And you can see the back, it's got like these two humps. This one's interesting because if you look at it this way, it looks like a whole chunk is missing. But then you, if you look on this side, you can actually see that it grew this way. So this was just a really unfortunate malformed brachiopod that grew in this funky, funky looking way. Really interesting. As you can see, this one, you've got one of the ears and then ooh, careful not to drop it and break it. It's being clumsy. You can see one of the ears is here and then one of the ears is missing. It's very common to have it like that. These, I don't know if these are brachiopods or if this is some other type of, if this is like a gastropod or something, I'll have to, I'll have to do some research. I will, if I find out what these are, the names will be going up. You can see the very nice detail on them. I think this is just one part of the shell. Here's a larger one. This was the largest one of those that I found. It's got a little bit of uh, stuff on one side. I'm thinking maybe giving this one an acid bath to remove some of the stuff in the front. But you can see the uh, nice lines. Almost like the growth patterns. And then this one. It's really cool. Because it's almost... Almost like those um, ammonites that have that iridescent sheen to it. It's got... It's not iridescent, but it's got a sheen to it. It's got like almost like a mother of pearl look. That was really cool to find. This was found on the hills as well. Very interesting fossil. Next, we've got some of the river rocks. Here's a really nice piece of green banded slate. You can see it's really tumbled. This, uh, the creek, the creek that we were in or the creeks. Technically, we were in some offshoot creeks as well. Uh, recently, there had been two pretty decent rainfalls, so the bigger creeks were kind of overflowing. And this is some interesting local chert, some kind of brown chert. Be interesting to find an arrowhead made out of that material. Who knows? I'm trying to do some research on that, that, that area and I'm getting help. Uh, the subscriber who showed me these hills, old and tired, she's uh, also helping me with it. This is a bit of porphyry. It's kind of hard to see when it's not wet. So I'm just gonna do the very scientific thing and lick the rock for a second so that you can see it better. Yeah, you can see the feldspar, the tiny feldspar crystals and the green host rock, this would be I think a very cool rock to tumble. But yeah, this is a bit of porphyry. And before I um, leave you guys, I'm gonna, I, from Old and Tired, she already sent me a, um, a gift cap package before, and I actually unboxed that and showed that to you guys on the channel. Um, she gave me even more gifts, like a lot more gifts, so I had to go through all the all the stuff she gave me, the fossils and rocks, and had to pick a couple of the nicest ones to show you, the ones I, or not necessarily the nicest, but the ones that I enjoyed the most. Here's a really cool trilobite. You can see there's a whole one here. That's as close as possible. You can see right there, and then right there where my thumb is, there's actually a tail. And there's some other bits I'd have to look under the microscope and see if those are trilobites or not. This came from actually the spot that those brachiopods came from. Or one of the hills. So there's one hill that has brachiopods and like corals and stuff like that. And then there's another hill that has the same stuff. But once in a while you can find a uh, trilobite on there. So I have to uh, figure out what species this is. I'll have to do some research and I'll put the name up in the corner. This was a really, this is a really cool gift. Such a fascinating little fossil. 
Then there is another one. I believe this is from the same place. Or maybe this is from another spot. But it's from southern Ontario. It's just the back part of a very large trilobite. It's been worn a lot. So it's probably found in a creek. Or maybe on a beach somewhere. But that. I found that really cool. And it's a little different from the usual the usual trilobites that I've seen found in Ontario. The, usually like they're a black color and that one looks like a light tan. Now for another fossil. This one I believe was found in the creeks that we were walking. This is what I first thought was maybe a stromatolite colony. But then I started looking closely at the structures inside. And I think it's just a very large coral. Now it was partially um, cleaned with acid and that exposed these really really pretty crystalline structures of the inside of the coral i hope that the camera picks it up there we go like look at that that is so cool like in the air like look at that like man that is just mind-blowingly beautiful you can see like all the structures there like this is an amazing piece of fossilized coral it is so cool i'm sorry about the shadow lighting's not great right now because usually i rely on just the natural lighting of outside but it's kind of overcast so i have to use my room lighting as well and it's not that great because it's right behind me next we've got this little little amethyst point this um apparently comes out of pickering very nice little just point of amethyst beautiful color like a nice faint color and it's got some slight like little skeletal structure to it well not skeletal i forget what that term is exactly but it's got other little little points trying to come off of it like you can see where where there's a pointed structure but it's just super flat very cool then and finally, this guy, a really nice large, well, yeah, large. It's the largest piece of a cluster of calcite that I actually have in my collection. See if this could zoom in properly, please. Give me a second. I don't know why it doesn't want to zoom. There we go. It's a very nice large cluster of calcite. This is from... Uh, Niagara, the Niagara region. So my uh, my regular stomping grounds, so to say. Very cool. Once again, thank you, old and tired, for uh, showing me uh, the collecting places and for the beautiful gifts that you've given me. There's some other stuff that I haven't shown you guys, but that's just because there's so much stuff and this video would be like 30 minutes long if I showed you everything. But I'll, there's a lot of stuff that I I will actually be giving away in future future giveaways. It was a, uh, a an idea of uh, old and tired that I should give stuff a lot of some of the stuff away in giveaways and I thought that was such a great idea and that's such a cool thing to do so they're all hopefully in future giveaways and actually in the giveaway that's happening I'll toss a couple I'll put up a couple of those pieces in there as well at, at, as part of the giveaway but there will be a lot of cool fossils that will be uh, given away in future giveaways so Thank you guys uh, for watching, and if you like this type type of content, please do uh, like, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.